biggest loser. He lost power towards the end of the stage, reduced to a maximum of 3,000 RPMs. He lost over three minutes and dropped from fifth to 11th. We started well in the morning, but then now in the last two stages we've had a big miss. And it won't go over 3,000 reps, so we've lost a lot of time. I don't know exactly how much, but... Uh, I imagine it's a fair bit. Alice their kids' hopes of winning the class were dashed after a rear drive shaft snapped and the crew were forced to retire. It was a big blow, but they remained in the title fight. This promoted Ranak Shah into the class lead with over a three and a half minute lead ahead of Jaswinda Chana. Jaswinda Chana was fastest on the stage, closing down the gap on Mahesh Alai. The pair were separated by 20 seconds with three stages left to run. Mahesh Alai needed to stay in front of Chana if he wanted to close the gap in the championship race so a steady conservative drive was needed. He was still second in class. Dennis Mwenda was quickest of the F2 class, nine seconds faster than his Ugandan rival, but Mayanja remained ahead in the standings. The crews returned to the service park after three short but grueling stages that had taken their toll on most of the cars. Tundo remained in command, but Chaga had made a remarkable recovery to end the loop in sixth overall. Flash was really quick in the morning, so we're probably never going to catch him up. Baldi had a puncture, so, was, so we're just trying to be cautious. You know, also, we're first on road, so we're being a bit careful. We hit the car quite hard a uh, couple of places in the last uh, stage, and uh, so we're having a bit of trouble with the car. Well, I think another few rallies, a couple of rallies to get used to the car properly and then, then I'll try. Maybe next season will be a full-out season. No, we're definitely having fun uh, being in uh, home ground. Uh, other than the first two stages in the morning, the first lag was uh, difficult on us. Uh, the car settings were not right in terms of uh, alignment and cambering. Right. But uh, yes, we got it done in service and the second lag, uh, it's now behaving the way I want and uh, setting up some good times. Dennis Mwenda was getting ready to celebrate with only three stages remaining. He looked on course to secure his first title. I plan to take it very easy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, our focus uh, from the beginning of the season was to win the championship. Yeah. And now that it is within grasp, we don't want to lose it. The S-Class was a quiet affair, with the main contenders opting to back off and get the cars to the finish. Routine maintenance was all that was required. Stage 6 took the crews back up the steep Nandi escarpment to Tundorio. In a repeat of the first stage, there will be more loose rocks after the first pass, but crews were expected to be quicker the second time through. In a repeat of the morning run, Tundo was once again fastest, 42 seconds quicker than his first effort. Never want to back off and consolidate his lead, he was on full attack. Chaka was a further two seconds down and moved into third overall. Chave moved to second after Ian Duncan punctured and lost over five minutes to drop down to fifth. Manvia Barian's good run came to an end after he hit a rock, damaging the suspension and being forced to retire. Mahesh Halai broke a front drive shaft on the way up the hill but was able to continue, losing ground to Jasminda Chana. Chana now led the title contenders, with Keith out and Halai falling behind, he was taking home a good haul of points. The biggest casualty of the stage was Dennis Mwenda. A finish would have been enough to secure his title, but there was also pride at stake, and he didn't want to lose the rally to a Ugandan. Going too fast into this corner, he lost control spinning. Unfortunately, he was unable to stop before heading down this steep bank and he was stuck. There was not real damage except to his pride. However, without any of his title rivals present, he still holds a commanding lead in the championship, but will have to wait until next time to secure the win. Another slippery descent down the escarpment and a repeat of the second stage awaited the crews. Stage 6 had been a big jumble up on the leaderboard and there was still lots to play for. Baldev Chaga took the honours, setting the fastest time, bettering his morning time by 19 seconds. There were not enough rally miles to catch the pair in front unless they had a problem, but he couldn't afford to relax. Jassi Chathe was only six seconds slower in the similar Evo 10. In his first time out in the car, he was having a great run in front of his home crowd. Ian Duncan was fuming after picking up a puncture in almost the same place as Chaga in the morning. The time loss dropped him to fifth and more importantly behind Chaga. He was able to get back up to fourth but the damage was done. We got a puncture, probably the same rock that Baldy hit the first time round. So um, yeah, just. Right at the beginning of the stage, never saw anything, just went flat. So. 
Tundo was actually slower than his morning run, backing off to protect his lead of over two minutes ahead of Chate. Azar Anwar was forced to back off as the rear arm once again pulled out of the body. He lost time and fell behind Duncan to lie fifth overall. Azar Mirza had moved up to sixth on the previous stage and consolidated this by setting the fifth fastest time down the hill by opening up 45 second gap to Chana. Jasmi Chana was now up to seventh and also had a 50 second cushion. The fight seems to be over as the drivers drove to hold station. Hardep Resi had an engine misfire but still managed the ninth fastest time to move up to eighth. Farhaz Khan had recovered and moved back to ninth with the tenth fastest time. Raji Barid was back tenth after a steady drive and could almost see the finish line for the first time this season. Aslam Khan found himself up in 13th position after a clean run in the Porsche and the chance to catch Hardev Singh Sira in the championship race. Mayanja gave the Ugandan supporters something to celebrate with a class win and 13th overall. There was a chance for one last service before the final stage of the day. The positions looked to be set barring any last stage mishaps, but it was still important to make sure the cars were still in tip top condition. Stage 8 took the drivers back to the Simba Spectator stage and final 15 kilometers of the rally. Chaga was once again quickest to record four stage wins on the day. A remarkable fight back had seen him climb from 17th back up to third and an important podium finish. Raji Barij was keen to demonstrate that he hadn't completely lost his flair by going second fastest. Tenth overall was like a victory after a miserable season and we'll be hoping he has finally broken the jinx. Tundo Kriz to third fastest, another win for the defending champion, but barring disaster on the next event for Chaga, his dreams of defending his title are over. Jassi Chate recorded his best result, finishing second in front of his home crowd in what was a fantastic result in the new car, which he was quickly getting to grips with. Fourth was not the result Duncan was hoping for after holding on to second for most of the event. Road sweeping duties are never easy and he'll be hoping for a better start position on the next event. Azar Anwar went sixth fastest to stay in front of Mirza. Another run of bad luck in Kusumu was over and he was happy to go home in fifth overall. Izar Mirza finally brought the car home in a much deserved sixth position. After retiring from similar positions early in the season, he had finally brought the car home in one piece. Jasmine Chana finished seventh, another steady clean drive and another good result for the Evo 9. Hardy Pressi makes his first appearance in the top 10 this season. A good fight with Mirza and Chana throughout the rally was rewarded with eighth overall. Farhaz Khan had found his pace again after his role on the safari and brought the car home in ninth. Rajbi Rai had a close call with the sugarcane fields, damaging the front of the car. He had been as high as fourth and he would be disappointed after his engine problems early in the rally cost him a top 10 result. Ronak Shah took the S-Class victory much to the delight of his family and friends on his home event. Jaswinda Chana was second, but more importantly, beat his rivals to open up 60-point lead with only two rounds remaining. A finish for Mahesh Halai keeps him in the title race as the championship goes down to the wire. The crews return to the Kibos yard at Chemase for the finish and prize-giving ceremony. Tundo took an emphatic win, having led from start to finish. He's still in with a chance to win the title if Chaga fails to finish the next round. But the champagne always tastes sweet and the victory goes down in the record books. You know, to be honest, if Baldi finishes yes. all three rallies, we're, we're, we're 180 points behind. But uh, it's pride. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we just catch up a bit and enjoy ourselves and uh, look forward to next year. But we've still got two more rounds after this. It had been another successful Kisumu rally. Thoroughly enjoyed by the crews that had made the long journey to the Lake Victoria Basin, the rain held just long enough for the champagne to flow. Chaga leaves Kisumu knowing that he could seal the title on his home round, the Guru Nanak rally, which is next up. He may have lost a little ground to Tundo on this event, but still holds a huge margin and only needs a point to finish to seal the championship. After falling behind the early part of the season, a win on the safari and second in Kisumu says Jaswinda Chana open up a 60-point margin over Alistair Keith in what is turning into an exciting battle for the title. 
Dennis Mwenda leaves Kisumu wondering what if. But lessons have been learned and no damage done. But he still holds a strong lead in the championship and a chance to wrap it up on the next round. Aslam Khan moves back to within five points of Hardev Singh Sira with this win and a chance to defend his title on the final two events. Round 7 takes the cruise back to Nairobi for the Guru Nanak Rally. Expect new stages and plenty of excitement as the cruise battle it out for class and championship honours as the season nears its climax. We'll see you there.